Yeah. Okay, so I got these bolts loosened up, but I can't pop the cap off. Things seems like things are a little on the snug side. Uh, Hey Connor, you want to pop this off? What off? This cap. I got the, the rod driven down away, and I got a gap, but the cap won't come off, so it must be, must have swelled up in there. Okay, yeah, I'll be right over. Do I have a mallet? Which cap? Number three? Yeah, number five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, number four. Oh. See, things are loose. It doesn't just way. pop off though. Whoa! Yeah, it does. <laughs> it spun though. It spun the back of it. How bad? You can see wear mark. Not bad. I'm gonna say this piston is. This I don't one think that's the one that locked up. So Yank the bearing. Did it spin? Oh, we don't know for sure yet, do we? Um, yeah, we do. Because okay. that's where it lines up, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It did. So but, it, it turned it. So it grabbed it there, but it really didn't... Well, chew, it didn't hurt the rods. It didn't chew it up. It gave it a little heat spot. But I think those rods would hold up to this, as long as it didn't go too crazy. Yeah, but that's the bad one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this is the one that was snug. Check that out. I've never seen that. Oh, yeah. These are. I guess you can't put them on backwards. They are a grooved scenario. That's, mm -hmm. that's strong stuff. Yeah, it is. This one, I don't know if we'll... we got to try and turn the crank to get that one. Oh, okay. You know? You can't get on there with a... I don't think so. I think so. you can. Not with that, maybe, but with the... Can't even get on this one with this. Oh, really? Yeah. But we got one piston, one cylinder down. So let's knock this uh, this piston down the bore a little bit. Already did a little bit. Yeah. What's that piece of metal there? Yeah, it's part of the bearing. Is it? Yeah. I think the bearing's welded to the crank. I think so. Really, it seems like it's stuck right to the crank. Yeah, I'm gonna have to knock it off. Care if you don't send that piston all the way out. <laughs> that was close. So it did spin four. We can see where it spun. The bearing's actually stuck to the crank. There's the split where the bearing is. Kind of wants to spin this a little bit so he can. Is the handle in this? Yeah. Hang on. Okay, I'm holding the handle a little bit. Yeah. You can't get on there, huh? Looky there. Closer to the oil supply. One right there, right yeah, there. These two. Those guys didn't. You think that last one would have been the one to do it? Didn't get it. Maybe. Maybe. See, that's easy. That moves easy. That makes me a little leery about the condition of the rods. How tight it was with no side play. Look at that. Look at that bearing. Oh man, this thing. No wear on a good one. Yeah. It's like a new motor. Jeepers. This thing was a cream puff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. No, huh? Next thing. <laughs> Loosen up the mains. We're not even sure if there's not a main that's tight. That's tight. I guess that is possible. Yeah. That one's really hard to get to because of the gear. Yeah, the crazy counterbalance drive gear. It drives the counterbalance and the oil pump. I hear it. I can hear it coming up. Yeah! Hey, Ooh, thrust washer scenario. Oh, that that's one a... spun too. Did it spin? Yep. There's no, it scene. did not. Yeah, it, did. it spun. It spun. Oh boy. It's very bad for our block scenario. Not good for our block. But... 
Yeah, a spun main bearing, that's sad because, okay, here it is. You can see the seam. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. it oh, is. yeah, it is. It, is. it turned. It turned. I can see the oil hole is way over here. Yeah, it turned. So it turned. So that was a tight one, too. You're right about pulling the main bearings. Maybe we what? pulled enough tight stuff now that we could, uh, well, let's pull them What's off. the deal with the thrush washers? Are they just half washers? They are. From the looks of it. You have to pull the motor out of the other tractor to get the, or out of the tractor to get the other crank out. Yes. Which means we got to figure out where and how we're going to do that. Yes. That one did not spin. This bearing is... Boy, I've, I'm amazed at the look of the bearings, though. They're like, it was like new. They're like new bearings. Yeah. Well, that ex also explains why that main right there probably had the junk went through it. Probably something from, the, from that, that main spinning. Who knows? Yeah. So you're going to just leave that there or you want to toss it over in a bucket? Yeah, let's put it in the bucket. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I guess line boring and hopefully it didn't take so much out of the block that it can't be. No, we can't. They'll just, yeah, what we'd have to do is uh, build it up. It'd have to weld it up. It would be a process. You know, sometimes you get bearings that are oversized on the outside diameter. That might be a possibility, but I don't know what's available for this motor. Well, the other thing is it didn't run long. Maybe it didn't run long enough to take any material off of the block. Yeah. Which, what we could do is when we get this all tore down, we put the cap back on and we measure it. Yeah, that's... Um, it might be good. That's basically what we do is... Yeah, I mean... It that's when we send it down to the machine shop for that. Because it doesn't look... You sometimes you see a spun rod or a spun bearing. It's just chewed up the cap. It's chewed up... Oh, yeah, stuff. yeah. This didn't that do that. That cap is nice and clean. They just spun it. it. Just spun it a couple times, and then I think they shut it down quick enough. No, that's that's what shut it down. They didn't shut it down. They didn't shut it down? They never shut it down, remember? So it it, it's the matter of the friction of these bearings stopping the engine. Stopping the engine. That's what no, shut it off. They must have shut it off. No, oh, that's what happened. He told me. I believe it. That's what would happen. I just feel like that would have done way more damage than this. It's probably at a low idle. Yeah, barely moving. Yep. Once he's got tight, I mean, it welded don't right spin. on that crank. Yeah. Man, that's something else. Anyways, maybe we got lucky. Maybe we didn't. Well, we already didn't because we, we already know we're going to wind up. Well, I'm talking about plan B lucky. No, oh, plan B lucky. Yeah. And the block's not crap. I'm an optimist, okay? <laughs> you get that from your mother. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I know, a little pessimistic at times. That's what happens when you see things go wrong a lot. <laughs> this line of, this line of uh, work, that's what you see. Things go wrong. Well, that's why you need to get some stuff like this cheap enough. <laughs> yeah. Because even though this is a bad story, you don't, we're still you don't cheap. feel too bad. Because we're still not buried in it. Look at that, that one didn't spin, and uh, I can't believe the that's shape of those pretty. bearings. I, think th I don't think this had 4,000 hours on it. It's pretty good shape. Yeah, look at the crank; it's beautiful there. Too. Yeah, the crank's you just know? gorgeous where it didn't get where it didn't get and this tortured. One, yeah, this had that big gouge, and there's no lip on that crank. So even with bearing, that gouge in the bearing, yeah, the bearing, the bearing ate it. Yep. All right, you're gonna pop that last one out. Well, we need to keep two of these in so that we can try and bar the engine over still. All right, gotta try to turn it again. Yep, there you go. Okay, you can keep going. Well, we probably gotta put those caps on so those pistons don't fall out. They ain't gotta fall out past the, there's uh, not ridge, but there's carbon buildup at the end of the piston, at the end of the cylinder. I don't think they'll fall out. You don't think they'll fall out? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> they fall out, I'll eat them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, nothing got beat up too bad. I mean, you just spun at. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just put bearings in and go? I don't know. Let's take it apart and see. But I, 
We get let's get these burnt on bearings off, and it, it might just be that they just welded a little. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we just take the crank out of the other one, throw in it. Throw in it and roll. As long as the journal size is the same. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like it hurt the caps. No, it didn't look like. And it how hurt much the cap spinning does this bearing actually do? Well, let's. Let's see. This was our worst. This is our presumably worst rod bearing. Right. I think you can get it now. Came apart pretty easy. Oh, I don't think it's that bad. Four might be the worst one, actually. You think? Could be. That would be great, because four wasn't too bad. Ha! Huh. This did... S did it spin? It did no, not spin. That one did not spin. But it did. But look what it did. It scorched. Yes, this is actually worse than spinning. Because it didn't spin in the cap. So this is the one that shut it down, which means this crank would need need to be fixed. Yep. But that's got some dis disconnecting rods okay. Disconnecting rod is okay. Didn't get hurt at all. No. But this one did spin a little bit, right? So we still have a connecting rod that's gonna be suspect. This got hot. Yeah. And the heat transferred through to the connecting rod, and it makes it look worse than the one that's actually spun. Does it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. they need to be reconditioned. I mean, it's not. And so, I mean, that's the worst looking part. You still can't catch it. This engine's got so little wear that even this, you know, it has enough meat in it. So we're, we got to mic things out, obviously, but I, I don't know. Well, I do know that this is not acceptable. No, that's not acceptable. That that right there means we're turning the crank and probably getting oversized bearings. But maybe it's only ten thousandths. Right, you know? Ten thousandths on just this one. Exactly. Um, oh, that one too. That one too. We'll get a whole rut. We'll get a whole bearing set. We need them for the mains too because we spun this one. So that's our next dilemma: is how bad. Yeah, how, how bad, bad did, did it hurt the saddle? But it did not hurt the cap much at all. Where's the cap for that? The cap is right in the bucket there. Did we look at the cap on that one? That's the middle one. That's the big one with the thrust. Oh, it didn't hurt it at all. No, that's nice. Yeah, okay. What were we worried about in this one, whether the saddle got hurt, which it probably didn't because that cap looks fine. Cap looks fine. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I remember Pete was driving his old 77 Dodge G700. <laughs> Started banging like crazy. Oh no. Started banging like crazy. And uh, he pulled the pan out, put a new bearing in it, and off he went again. I, I, he drove it for years after that. All right, so yeah. we got we should look at this kind of. This is furthest away from everything. I, we didn't never get this one off. Yeah, that could be bad. It could be a nightmare back here. This could be why we were able to spin it, because this is loose. The problem is, we want to do all this without. Uh, we want to do the, all this without pulling a, a without piston. Pulling the pistons. That's that's the main thing. That's our goal. Because <sighs> you know, saving a what thousand bucks. <laughs> uh, pretty much exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, huh, that one's fine. Didn't spin. No spin. Pretty nice. Uh, our next issue is, I think this, this oil is a little gritty, a little shiny bits in it, you know. <clears throat> oh yeah, it went through hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's good though. So all in all, this doesn't look too bad. We got to get the crank out, which means we got to pull the whole front, all this crap off the front. Of course, Connor says we don't have to. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. You know. So that water pump might have to stay where it is. What's that mean? Is that up higher than the other one? Yeah, it is. It is up higher than the other one. Can't get that off because there's one bolt back there. I think we might need to, to get a water pump from like a 970. You know what I mean? We need to get an ag water pump. This is like the bulldo the water pump they'd use in the bulldozer. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I, I think that's what it boils down to. That's what the what said? I think that's what it boils down to. Mm -hmm. Is getting this housing in the ag version. Because the actual water pump on bolts here, there's four bolts. 
Yeah, that's housing. the pump. It's the housing that we're yeah. talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm going to go home and get chicken soup. Mmm, <sighs> chicken soup. I like chicken. That's good. Good stuff.